Epicorns is a very big important instrument. So let's just see, you know, some examples. I'm talking about something like this. So first building this sound. So usually what I do is a combination of these 12 horns plus four horns plus one solo horn. And the 12 horns, sometimes I don't have the four horns depending on the sound that I want. And sometimes on top of that, I add uh, like an sforzato horn spats. But usually it's 12 horns, four horns and solo horn. My particular one is 12 horns is here. Here's the Albion's horns and trombones, but I filter trombones so you can hear a little bit of that. I sometimes have a very soft trombone in here just to add a little bit of that timbre that I wanted. Horn section marcato, this is a four horns marcato, sort of like first for chato type of thing, something like this. That gives that aggression and definition and a little bit of a faster attack. And if I press harder, uh, this one is controlled by velocity, the rest of them not. So if I don't want that much, just soft. If I want it harder, right, and I've got control. So this is me getting to know my libraries and how I build this specific this instrument, this patch. 80% of the sound is this 12 horns patch. That's 80%, 90% of the sound, I would say. Alright, that is the sound. Then, just to make this a little bit bigger, what I do with my sound that makes the biggest difference, I add reverb. I usually like to add for this, like a whole reverb, just like a two seconds whole reverb. In my case, it's around 16, 20%. In my case, before adding the this whole reverb, I add a convolution reverb, like a scoring stage convolution reverb, and that just adding two reverbs makes the reverb sound more deeper. The tail has a just like a more natural decay, which I like very much, and it's this guy here. This guy here. If I view the reverbs, there's still a tail. Right, because the room, you can hear the room. If I add the, the convolution reverb, which I use this one because it's very, very light, this guy here, IRL from Waves, and I'm using, in this case, that AO um, scoring a state, and that's a little bit of a tail. See, on top of this, I add this guy here, which adds an extra, like if I make this longer. What it does, it brightens a little bit, and that's a little bit of aggression to this sound. So that's what it does, see that I, I heat this reverb a little bit. Like if this is the sound, this is the reverb. And it just brightens the sound a little bit. Now, what can we do with this? So I'm gonna cover like uh, this six sort of like cinematic type of sound for horns. So heroic melodies. Right type of thing. So basically what we've got here. So this, this type of heroic melody. More things than you can do, do, do with horns. Low, dark type of chords, right? <laughs> type of thing. If it's sort of like action, like something like this. <laughs> sustained type of notes as well. This is like for dark chords and dark textures, more heroic things. The hero type of like mid-low type of chord, something similar to this, but more for like an intro. <laughs> type of swell. It should be longer, right? But this is this type of intro. We've got like the heroic melodies, we've got the low chords. And also for the more uplifting type of thing, something like... Ah, 
like just let's say that this was the background we had brass and all that and maybe we had the the strings doing the melody <laughs> horns like cinematic this uh, sort of like uplifting or love romantic type of thing still we can use like the big horns sound for two things one i would say like adding support to this melody and the second thing would be counterpoint so adding support <laughs> up here like if if i would move this down like a third song like this in a flat major but uh, for now <laughs> So the horns doing the support up an octave, so with the strings here and the horns here. Again, if I would move this down a third with a flat major, the horns would be in a better range. So adding support to the main melody, to the leading melody, or a counterpoint to that leading melody with the strings, something like... <laughs> But you get the idea. If you range from something like this to something more like like empowering, uplifting trailer type of thing. A little bit faster, right? typical as well of these epic horns and when we use it as well it's typical cinematic sound with horns 